So, uh, install PC Builder. You've got it. You're using it. Pretty much for me. Pretty much, it, it is a must for most retail. So it's a must for any PC selling retail store um, because it gives you something that none of the other high streets can give you. Yeah. It gives you the ability to outdo them in every way, shape, or form. So today we've got some slides. So yeah, the best use out of it based on how people are already using it. Uh, and what it actually means to have the install PC builder, what it can do. So we we'll start with a quick question. I'm not expecting many answers. <laughs> so it's who on the high street is the biggest PC rival? Which is got easy work. Argos? Mm -hmm. Look, well, sure. Sort of think the desktops probably not the laptops. Yes. John Lewis. Mm. Well, maybe on the course, and yeah. yeah. Corey's is the only other one. Yeah. So, what is it that they offer that you don't? Why? Why do people go to them? Or why do you think? Mostly that they have just rows and rows of. So, so they, they offer a wide range. So they've got a bit of a different offering than you. That's probably down to the amount of space you've got in shop. Yeah. I can't offer 50 PCs. It's not feasible for you to have that much money tied up. And you don't have the space for it. So what makes a great customer? Customer walked into the shop. I'm a PT. We all love a customer that finds. Why don't you do this with camera? <laughs> well, it tells others, recommends you because of the service that they've received. And one that returns and buys more because of the service he's received. So, the install PC builder is designed essentially to do many things. It's designed to bring people to your store, reinforces you as a field, as an expert in your field. So most people got into this by hobby or something that they're passionate about. Whereas most people in the PC world got a YTS. Stay. Or maybe they used to fix photo copies. One of those. Allows customers to sell products to themselves with very little interaction from yourself. Sells a product that is just what the customer wants. So you're not selling a box the same as PC World, you're selling what the customer wants. Increases customers' loyalty. Offer more stock. So PC World might have 30 or 40 PCs on their shelves. You can now offer 306 trillion PCs yeah. off your shelf. Sell the items without holding the sock. It's even better. You don't have to keep anything. Imagine the size of the warehouse you have with that many PCs. Unbelievably high conversion rates. And I'll come to conversion rates later because I do have some video in regards to that. And as with everything that we do, saves time and makes money. And it's free. Everybody loves something that's free. So, all that sounds really good, but it's all about proofing the pudding. Anyone can stand there and say all this, does all this for you. So, what is the install PC builder? Well, it's exactly what it says it is. Designed to be used in store. It's so designed as a tool for engagement for your customer, for you to engage with your customer, and a visual stimulation for your customer. It's 
you talking to your customer about the passion you have for what you do. And that's what it is. Reinforces to that customer exactly what it is you're telling them. It creates footfall because it gives people a reason to come into your store because you can now supply 306 trillion PCs and every single one is bespoke to the person that comes in and builds it. It converts footfall into buyers. They're in, they've seen it, they've had a part of it, they want to buy it. All that and it's free. So, more customers, what everybody wants, everybody wants more customers, more customers, more money. Simple thing. But it's a challenge to all businesses to get customers, to get them to come through the door. So you need to give a reason to the customers to walk into your shop rather than any other high street retailer. If a customer comes in and gets a good experience, they tell others. According to Zendesk, they tell 87% will share a good shopping experience. Now that 87% could just be someone that they know work. Or it could be Facebook or Twitter, which is then shared with 500 people. So, If you think about PCs as your main core of business, why would customers come to your shop over any other shop? If you just, as a PC seller. So not for repairs, that must be for repair. <laughs> customers wanted to buy a PC. Mostly for ourselves, it's for ease of access, for help and support along the way. So far more approachable than uh, let's say the next PC launch. So your service. The service that you're giving to your customer. It's probably being recommended. So he's coming for service, he's coming for advice, because he's been told by a recommendation that you are the guy to speak to about PCs. So he's come to see an expert. Now, we know PC World stock loads of PCs, and we also know that they can't compete on service because they just can't up with the fee. We also know that they can't compete on price because we do the retail price comparison every year, and we know that you guys are 20% on every sheet on a range of things. So, price isn't really a comparison. So, it's Realistically, the only thing that they go for is because they think they can get more PCs in PC World than they can with you. And that's just a conception they've got in their mind because PC World is advertising advertise or something. So, the install PC Builder gives them essentially 306 trillion reasons to come to your store because that's how many PCs you can build for it. Each PC is unique, but it's getting that message to the customer. So it's making them aware of the offering that you now have. The 306 trillion PCs, your advice, which most people don't charge for, and the service, and what an expert you are. So the install PC builder just backs all this up. So we already provide a whole range of products that you can use to advertise. Some posters that have been on the, the desk there today, uh, they're also on the website, you can download them. There's some banners, there's a press release that we supply which you can rewrite and send to your local press. We do two or three posters now. All available so you can tell people about what it is you do. But getting them in to the store or making them understand what it is you do is only half. Once, it's in, once they're in the store, you need to make sure that they can quite clearly see the install PC builder. Those people that don't pay quite a bit of attention to posters and just walk in like that, never going to know that. So give them something that's going to go, oh, right, okay, what's that? 
and into a plate that, that looks interactive. But essentially, so a POTUS is when it's got an eight board outside, he uses it in all its adverts, and then when he's in the store, he's got it as a central piece with the two screens, so people can see exactly what it is. And people do go into a shop and go straight for the PC Builder and have a play around with it. So it's having it, and then having it in a prominent position where people can see it, and they don't feel scared to use it. They don't feel pressured to use it. So it reinforces you as the expert. It's got a lot of rules in it. Compatibility, things like that. But it's never going to replace you and what you can discuss with your customers, your knowledge. All it's doing is it's telling you which bits will work and won't work together. The rest of it is just enforcing your knowledge with your customer. So it is down to your guidance with the customer as to what that customer is going to walk out the shop with. They'll ask you questions and you can guide him or her as to what it is that they're doing. So it's, it acts as a visual confirmation of what you're telling the customer. And it sounds, it sounds a little overkill, but if you think about it, in a different way, engagement. If you were going to go and climb, climb Mount Everest, you wouldn't do it on your own. I wouldn't. I'd never do that now. You're going to hire a Sherpa with all this kit, this caboodle, and everything else. But if someone came along and said, No problem, mate, I've got the best Sherpa for you, and this guy turned up, you'd be a bit worried. He might be the best shirt in the world. But to look at him, he's got no map, he hasn't got the right gear, and a rope. Visually, I'm not going to go with him because he's just not prepared at all. He doesn't seem to me to be some sort of expert. So you can get a customer and you can tell them everything, but if you can't show them what you're telling them, you're only doing half a job. So the install PC build is a visual representation that the customer can see and physically touch of what you're telling you. So it's about selling the right product to the right person without selling, which is a bit of a strange statement. Without selling, how can you sell? Well, everyone's got to sell, otherwise you can't pay the bills. But this isn't about you selling to the customer. This is about the customer selling the product to themselves. This is about you guiding the customer along the journey of the components that the customer needs to put in their build for their PC. So, with your guidance, the customer can build their own PC with no compromise. Going to PC world, there's always a compromise. You might walk in, they might have 30 PCs. You'll find a salesperson, they're going to show you. Essentially, they're going to show you what's the highest commission on that thing because that's what makes them money. But you don't care which piece of your customer buys. As long as that customer leaves you happy, because then he's going to tell his friends, who will tell their friends. You don't care. You will, on a piece of PC builder, the markup, if you've set it, it's pretty much flat across the range. So you don't need a commission, you're not working on a commission. If a customer walks into PC World, he's going to end up compromised. If he wants more memory, he's going to probably end up with a, faster, a bigger hard drive. If he wants a card reader, he's probably going to end up with a keyboard or a mouse that he doesn't want. There is always a compromise. The install PC Builder is no compromise. You'll get exactly what you want. Fit for purpose PC. So there's a PC for every job.
So it's not just about gaming PCs, although gaming PCs are the big thing in the moment. They're all in old magazines, everybody wants to get a piece of the, the gaming market as it's exploding. But that's not what the PC builder is. It will build any gaming machine you want, including dual cars and things like that. But there's still everybody else there that's turned into PC. And they've all got each individual person that's got a unique product or purpose that they need that PC to do. So you might have uh, photographers that need to edit photos. You might have a school, you might have a business. The PC Builder is designed to build PCs for everyone, regardless of what their requirement is. If you walked into PC World and said, I want a CAD machine. No idea, mate, I can't do that for you. Or, uh, I want a machine for editing photos. I, I can't do that. I don't know which one is. I don't, you know. This will do it. This will do everything. It will give your customer every single PC that you want. So I'm going to show you a couple of videos. So it's mainly what time for our uh, how do you characterize your customers? Are they mainly sort of domestic and business or domestic and business domestic and business? Do you get any gamers or any sort of specialists? Yeah, we get like gamers, uh, local radio stations, right, and um, local police authorities. Oh, really? So those are quite specialist builds. Yeah, they have a lot of CAD systems, we do a lot of CAD systems, um, game systems, yeah, they seem to be taken off again at the moment, so that's good. Good. So We've gone from, oh yeah, I built for home PCs, to now, oh actually I do CADs, I do photography, and I do re recording studios, and he does all sorts. So there's lots of opportunity that the install PC builder brings to markets that you might not consider. So I think the next one is chips PC. Also it helps them with cater to another group of people right. that come through my door, which are special needs or maybe learning disability people. Oh yeah. Um, I've had autistic customers. Yeah. I've had uh, dyslexics, all sorts, and I can build up the computer for them. Sure. And then I can put the cost of my the putting their special softwares on there on top. So I've already got my figure for the computer. Now I've just got to figure out the cost of putting their software on top that they will need to function on a daily basis. So uh, people that you would never consider, they don't need a computer. The markets that you just are not ventured in, I don't know how to do it. But they all need a PC. So that that's why I want to uh, radar station for Coast Guard to power their uh, radar machine, multiple screens with the uh, radar readout on all of the screens. It's on 24-7 as well, so it's like the second machine. So. Right. That's, that's the first one. You're the first person that's done a radar machine. Okay. Yeah, he showed me powering the uh, sort of start inside the whole view, the motor spinning, and then start spinning on the whole roof, and watch as the, uh, as all the ships start to appear on the, uh, the screens. Uh, okay. It's amazing some of the stuff we've built for. Some of the the, uh, the music recording studios have got some very strange tests. <laughs> uh, but we built for DJs as well. And, and VJs. I don't even know VJ was an actual thing, but apparently we've built some VJs. So the art of not selling are quite different. But letting the customer become the salesperson. Now, this is the best bit about the install PC builder. Not everyone loves selling. Some people do. Some people are really good at it. They're not big sellers, they, they cringe a little bit when it comes to selling. But the install PC builder takes all that away. It's not you that's selling the PC. What you're doing is you're talking to someone that's walked into your shop about your passion. Whilst you've got a visual representation of what you're talking about. And let the customer choose it. Let the customer pick the parts that they want. It's your engagement with the customer and asking the questions about what it is they're going to use it for, how they're going to use it. That's what then your knowledge then goes and says, this is the processor.
this is the application one. These are graphics cards, or whatever it is that they want to do. Your knowledge is what's guiding that. Let the customers select the products. And generally, most of the people we spoke to have been surprised by the products that they are selecting. Because they're not selecting the basic product. You can have that. That's going to be a bit faster. That one there. It's a bit faster. So Audi in London have a digital showroom. So space in London is at a premium and cars are big. So rather than buy big space, Audi decided they were going to have a smaller showroom, show the base car, but then they would have give all of their sales staff tablets. They would sit down with the customers and they would engage the customers. And they found in that showroom, the customers spend 20% more on their cars to make sure that their cars were unique and bespoke to the person that was buying it. It's a big uptake. This is Deloitte. 22% of customers spend more as a result of using digital. And just over half of those spent at least 25% more. Who engage someone with some digital? This is what they're saying. How do you proved it? Deloitte, got the figures on it. Marks and Spencers are currently doing it. Um, I had one customer uh, to come through the door the other day that we give his tower. Yeah. He had in his mind he wanted a white PC right. with blue lights. <laughs> and I said, that's a tall order, but I think I do know the case. And it, it spoke in my mind. It was a Cougar case, I do believe. No. And, no? It wasn't a Cougar? No. It was the white one. Could have been. Could have been. But, um, I went to it, I said, is this what you're looking for? And immediately he fell in love with the case. Right. He could he could have any parts in there, but the case was important. That's what that is. So That's I said, right. <laughs> and when we were shaving down on costs mm -hmm. to get it right, his brother says, well, why don't you just get a better, uh, a, a less blingy case? He says, I want that case. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, it's only about five pound difference, because it wasn't a very expensive yeah. case. He says, oh, oh, and he just sort of shut up and went over in the corner in front of me. The customer's already sold it to himself. To come in, he chose the case, and he couldn't give a monkey's that it was more expensive than the rest of the cases. That's the case he's chosen with the engagement. Doesn't care. Send his brother off. That's the case I've chosen. I'm having that. I think we've got another one. Do you find um, using that? improves your conversion to sales in any way, but maybe it doesn't, does it help it at all? I think the customer likes to have a piece of paper that they're posting it, okay. yeah. detailing everything that's in the system. Mm -hmm. They may not understand what it is, but they like to have that bit yeah, of a little spectre. They have, yeah. It gives them that bit of confidence. It does. So, but do you think that tips more people into sales than, than otherwise? I think, I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. I think it seems it's personally built for them. Yes. I did ask some questions. I've just realised all these videos, I just look like I'm stood there. Stood there. Yeah. But again, it makes a difference. I was Medway and they do some of all, but the, the conversation that he has with the customer, quite clearly he says it makes a difference to his conversions. So, you can offer more to your customers and stop that. The insert of PC mill, it gives you something that you can wipe the floor with PC mill and Argos and everybody else, all the high street ones put together. If you, if you took all the stock from PC World, Curry's, Argos, John Lewis, Debenhams, all those, if you put them all together, they still couldn't compete with the amount of bills that can be done through the install PC mill. So you can offer more PCs without having to stop a single thing. It's all done for you. It's about wowing your customers, giving them the experience that they want, deserve, that is the experience that's going to turn them from a browser to a buyer. And I do have some figures on this one. 
So this is Mackenzie Management. 70% of buying experiences are based on how the customer feels they are being treated. If the customer is happy, they are happy to part with their cash. If they feel they've been engaged with, they feel that they asked the right questions, and if they feel part of the experience, 70% high amount are quite happy to part with cash. Yeah, but your young kids, yeah. especially my boys, yeah. around ages of 10 and up, they love it. They bring their mates in to see it. They've got a machine in here that can do all this, that, and the So other. they actually use it themselves? Oh yeah, they'll come in here and they'll build up thousands of pound machines and say, <laughs> I want this, 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 and this. <laughs> and they'll go, Dad, they've got a machine down there. I want, he comes in, he sees the price. He says, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> But what they do, we've made some sales that with it by kids bringing that in here yeah. and budgeting around what he can afford. A lot of shops do stop kids coming in and walking with their mind and coming in because they don't want to end up dragging in the mates and whether yeah. they're dads or mums or whatever. We do get quite a few like that. The kids are getting wild, the kids are going home, they're telling the dad or mum, and the mum and dads are coming in and buying the PC. And then the kids are going to tell their mates, their mates are going to come and design a PC, and they're going to drive their parents in. The kids have had a great experience, and my kids are better at me than, than technology. And they're only six and eight. And what better recommendation? Most people don't know bits and bats inside a PC, but the kids do. The kids are going to drive the parents in. Oh, yeah. Once the kids make a decision and he wants what he wants, yeah, parents have got no chance. As a parent, I know when my kids come up and say, I want this, I, there's no point happening. They're going to get it one way or another. So, kids will do it. I don't want to do it. I mean, we said 87% of people will talk about a good experience. So that's 87% of people that have already had a great experience in your shop because you've engaged with them. I'm going to tell someone. So, at the end of the day, it is about money. Because you need to make money from the install PC world. Provided, I mean, we still provide free charge. We don't really make anything out of it. We charge a monthly fee, but we don't. What we make out of it is when you buy the products from us, you're successful. Because you're buying more product, we're successful. It's that simple, that's how we work. The tools of no use if you're not going to make any money from it. And obviously the best customer is one that buys. I'm not going to jump the slide yet. But we'll go back to the 70% of buying experiences. You've got them in, you spoke to them, you've engaged with them, you've allowed them to select the components, they've been part of the sale. This person in your shop has now got a vested interest in a PC that they've just designed. And earlier today, I think I've had three people come up to me today, all with exactly the same thing, all of them. Allow the customers to design the PC, and then all of the parts. So no one's building it, they'll order the parts. They then charge the customer an additional fee to let the customer come back in and build their own PC. No, what a fantastic idea. They're essentially running a, a building service. Come on, well, I'll train them to build a PC. You get lots of people that go onto the likes of YouTube and think they know what they're doing. But right here, you've got someone that's stood over your shoulder, an expert, and they charge premium for it. And people pay it. I thought that was a brilliant idea. That's brilliant. Idea. You turn that to your spreadsheet. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic thing, I start next year I'll do it, get it off. But it's all about getting them in, getting them engaged, and then get out what you can. Because if they've got a vested interest, if they've designed their own PC, you're pretty much, you're pretty much there to say. So the install PC builder, is it going to convert people? Yeah, it is. We have Show you in a minute, but a video. We've got people with an 80% conversion rate. 
our never known tool or a program or even a shop, standalone shops are an 80% conversion rate, that's astronomical. And all they do is sit and talk to customers about their passion. And then the customer buys the product because they designed it. So, so, so roughly speaking, speaking then, just roughly speaking, a lot of the time they make a decision there and then what kind of proportion would that be? 15%, 30 percent, 70 percent, about 80 percent. Because they like the fact that you seem experienced and know you're talking about yeah. and you can produce a quote customised for them. Yeah, so the builder helps you, helps you convey your experience. That's right, yeah. That's straight from the 80 percent conversion. Do you want to make more money? Yeah, it's a good I do. I don't think most of us are satisfied most of the time. But for you to make more money, you need more time. There's not enough hours in the day. Call outs, repairs, bills, talking people through bills. You can't do it all. It's not possible. Or if you can, Superman. So we understand this, and that's why we offer the build service. But we also understand that it's your reputation on the line. So we make sure that the guys that build it take their time. But to be honest with you, we don't have to make sure because they pretty much do everything like that. They, they are very finicky about the build. And if you've seen the, the stand today, you'll see it all strapped up and they that's an average build. That's what we took off the shelf. That's not them designing something and building something for today. That's what we took off the shelf. Other than the skull. Didn't take the skull off the shelf. So that frees up your time because you're not building something. You know you're going to get it in three days, quick turnaround. You can now go out and do more repairs, more call outs, so you make more money, which is exactly what you want to do. Free up your time to make even more. So I'll show you. There we go, we build, we make money. So I've got three videos. We asked exactly the same questions from people that we went to see. And these will be people that have been building PCs for years and years and years. Because you can build them yourselves, you could use the, you could use the PC there to do the config, make sure all the parts fit together, get them shipped and build it yourself, but you're using our build. What's that? It's time. just time. 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 A lot of times I'll have a lot of repairs on. Yeah. And if I have a lot of repairs, I don't have time to build at the same time. Sure. Being the only person in here, then he comes back later with his call out service things that have to be brought back to the shop for one reason or another. And you think, right, I've got this big quote mm -hmm. for this machine that needs building. And you think, oh, Target can build this. Call target. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, some, time's a big thing. Obviously, the wire and there for warranty on there does help. Um, yeah. Saves us having to worry about messing about and so forth. Um, the quality of it when it turns off? Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, I just got to say kudos for whoever teaches the wiring. I mean, I thought I was very OTT and OCD about my wiring, and then I saw it and I said, I'm just one big bear. So that's Chips, they've built a lot of PCs, including Johnny's, the Millennium Falcon. And they, last year they won the custom PC build with the Attack. And they still have us build their PCs. Uh, um, do you use the build service? Thank you. 
cell yeah. that you want to build in with PC and put those together. So we're done in the next couple of minutes. It's easy. Easy. Yeah, very simple. Right. So that's my way. Please don't just build before the studios, going to studios. Speak, quite easy. Quite easy. Um, what, would you, what would you say to people that are unsure about whether they should? You're right, sir. You're on the end using the PC. What do you say to the people that are taking on and using it? I'll definitely say before we have it, that it's a very, very interesting experience at the moment. We have more people that are using it. Um, the rat traps are not quite very good. Yeah. Um, and at the end of the day, we have two of us that are not quite success. And I think they're not going to be using it on this. So I'll definitely say engagement at the moment. Version 2, which is the one that we've had on the stand today, will be about four weeks away before we launch it, which will give you even more options. That's um, all they have the, you know, have the overclocking, like things which can be overclocked. Are you doing any pre overclocking, supplying more overclocks? If you want to overclock it, put it in next. We won't go mental. And if we feel that uh, there is an issue, we'll come back to you. If we feel that the, if you want to overclock it, really, I'm quite happy to do that for you. We won't go mental and, and overclock the five point five degrees, which just going to burn it out. But we'll also come back and say, look, yeah, we can overclock it for you, but we feel that the, the cooler with it isn't sufficient to cope with the overclocking. So we might bring you up and say, you know, let, let's talk about changing this part over. We won't be stupid, but we will do. We'll overclock it. We'll rain it. Partition. Tell them what partition you want. They'll hardware rate it, but not software rate it. They'll put the OS on for you. So yes, you can have two cards. Uh, the, the CPU can be overclocked. The memory can be overclocked if you want the memory overclocking as well. Um, so yeah, just tell them what you want to do. There's the note the note box is there for you to write in. Yeah. If you want the fans taken out, take all the fans out. If you want this um, liquid cooler, the Ryzen Tech. Don't know when we had it out display today, but the radiator, and it comes with three ink cartridges. So a standard, it's a sealed unit, and you've got the white liquid that goes through it. And it comes with a red ink cartridge, a blue ink cartridge, and a green ink cartridge. You just put the cartridge in. So it just tells us what colour you want. We'll do it for you. But yeah, it's pretty much, we will do everything we can within reason. Yeah. But if there is another be, that'll be something that it's normally. I always assume it would be somewhere you would go to like one of the big sites, cause your PC in all the boards and all this to be overclocked. And so it should just, you go to a small place to get that. So no, we, uh, we just, it's not that hard. Well, I mean, in terms of like getting the customers in, it's a good, a good way to get the customers in because mm -hmm. you've given them a service which they wouldn't expect to get. Yeah, we'll overclock it. I'm quite happy to do that. And we'll overclock it to. Once we'll overclock it, we'll run it through its tests again. So it'll run through the tests, make sure it all works. Then they'll overclock it, and they'll run it through its entire tests again. And they'll, to heaven, as one of them, they'll smash heaven through it and make sure that it runs a full blast for 24 hours yeah. and then ship it. But you also get a test sheet with everything. So it'll tell you what tests we've run, and it'll all say passed, because if it doesn't say passed, it's not going out. <laughs> um, but that's it. If you need any questions answering, I'm always around on the end of the telephone. If you get stuck with something, or especially if it's, especially with a new one, if you put something together and, and it doesn't allow you, and you think, well, actually that should, then ring up. I don't always get it right. But I try. <laughs> <laughs>